Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have 81 to the power of n minus 36 to the power of n is equal to 16 to the power of n. We will solve this problem for the real values of n so that the very first thing we are going to do is here first I can divide both of the sides by 16 to the power of n so that this expression will be rewritten as 81 to the power of n over 16 to the power of n minus 36 to the power of n over 16 to the power of n is equals to 16 to the power of n over 16 to the power of n. So now you see that uh, here I can use the nice uh, exponential law and you know about this law if we have a to the power of n over b to the power of n it is equals to a over b to the whole power n. So now I can use here this nice exponential law so that here you get or here you combine these two exponents according to this law and you get 81 over 16 to the power of n minus here you again combine these two exponents and you write 36 over 16 to the power of n is equals to 1 because these two are same terms and it is gone and now you get in this form and now we will simplify the terms and you can write this 81 as 9 squared over you can write 16 as 4 squared and its whole power n minus here we will cancel 36 and 16 in the table of 4 and you will get the remaining terms in the form of here you have 4 9 the 6 36 and 4 4 the 16 and you get 9 over 4 to the whole power n is equals to 1 so after this step uh, here i can again apply the above exponential law this exponential law uh, and here you can just combine or make the this exponent to as a whole exponent and you write 9 over 4 to the power of 2 and its whole power n minus here you have 9 over 4 to the power of n is equals to 1. So after this step we will apply here an other exponential law and you know about this exponential law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n and we can write it as a to the power of n to the power of m it is equals to a to the power of m times of n. It means that if you have exponent to the exponent then we will interchange these two exponents and when you can interchange these two exponents it cannot affect our final answer so that now we need to interchange these two exponents and you get 9 over 4 to the power of n and its whole squared minus here you have 9 over 4 to the power of n is equals to 1 after this step so uh, now we will convert this exponential equation into the quadratic form so that here we need to take y is equals to 9 over 4 to the power of n so when you can put y is equal to 9 over 4 to the power of n so that this expression will be rewritten in the form of y squared minus y is equals to 1 so it will becomes the quadratic form so now we will uh, solve this nice quadratic equation and uh, uh, here we need to solve this by using the quadratic formula so that here we have a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 1 and c is equals to 1 and you know that quadratic formula is y is equals to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4 times of a and c square root over 2 times of a so here you can put the values of a b and c in this formula 
and you get minus times the value of b is minus 1 plus minus you have minus 1 squared minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 1 and whole square root over 2 times of a is equals to 1 and now we will simplify the terms and you get minus times of minus is plus 1 and plus minus here you have minus 1 square and minus 1 square is equals to plus 1 and here you get uh, here you have the value of c is minus 1 because when you can simplify this term you get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0 so that the value of c is minus 1 so this is minus 1 so uh, this minus and minus is equals to plus and it's five uh, plus four over two times of one is two and it is equals to one plus minus square root five over two. So here you have two cases. I can separate these two cases. The first is one plus square root five over two and the other case is we take y is equals to 1 minus square root 5 over 2 and now in the start of the question we will take the value of y is equals to 9 over 4 to the power of n so that we will back substitute the value of y and the value of y is 9 over 4 to the power of n is equals to 1 plus square root 5 over 2 and similarly you can put here the value of y it is 9 over 4 to the power of n is equals to 1 minus square root 5 over 2. So now first you can focus on the second case and in this case you see that uh, the uh, the left hand side is an exponential function and you know about exponential function it is always gives the positive value and in the right hand side you get this value gives us the negative value so it cannot be possible an exponential equation is equal to some negative value so that it is not possible and we will reject this case and we can just proceed here this case only so in order to solve this case uh, we need to take the log on both of the sides so that when you can take log on both of the sides you get log of 9 over 4 to the power of n is equals to log of 1 plus square root 5 over 2. So here you can use the property of log and you see that this exponent will become in the front of this log and you get n times of log 9 over 4 is equals to here you have log of 1 plus square root 5 over 2 and the value of log 1 plus square root 5 over 2 is 0 0.2089 and similarly you can use the calculator in order to find the value of this log and the value of log 9 over 4 is 0 0.2 3521 is equal to 0 0.2089 so when you divide this value on the right hand side so here i can write n is equals to 0 0.2089 over 0 0.3521 you will finally got the value of n is 0 0.5935 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos